evening, my name is Juan Pablo Angel and today I'm going to talk about international economics. International economics is one of the most important files in economic science due the interest to find commercial interaction between the countries, the location of goods and its prices in the markets. Throughout international economics studies, it's possible to determine who gains from trade, the balance of trade, the balance of payments, the exchange rate dynamics, commercial policies and international capital market. Remember, countries trade because they are different, and they can benefit from its situation. For this reason, economists have been developing a lot of models and theories with the objective of understanding the linkage between economies. It's important to know that the trade did not just happen overnight, neither for a whimsical phenomenon. For the researches, as the theories of evolutionary economics, trading has been leading constant change due to technology growth, demographic factors, cultural interactions, and others. In conclusion, trading is part of the nature of human being. It's universal and it changed over the years, but today still uncertain the origins of the trade. After this brief introduction, I will emphasize in the importance of the different kinds of exchange rate system and the commercial policies. Floating exchange rate. Under a system of floating exchange rate, the exchange rate is set by market forces and is allowed to fluctuate in response to changing economic conditions. In this case, the exchange rate adjusts to achieve simultaneous equilibrium in the good market and the money market. If the bank decides to fix the exchange rate, they cannot control the money supply and the inflation rate because a monetary decision directly produces change in the currency's prices. Therefore, the bank should intervene in the market, selling or buying foreign currencies which neutralizes their monetary decision. On the other hand, a fixed exchange rate imposes limits over fiscal policy decisions. According to Krugman, it has been shown that a fixed exchange rate is not a good idea because it generates the balance of payment crisis, as it happened in South America, Thailand and other Asian countries. The most dangerous problem of the fixed exchange rate model begins when international reserves are scarce. If a government cannot eliminate the deficit, the international reserves will decrease, which produces a speculative attack. Now, assume that the national government reduces the imports imposing any kind of tariffs or quotas. With a fixed exchange rate, this policy produces a reduction in imports, so net exports will be positive, which increases the exchange rate. Due to the national commercial policy, the central bank intervenes in the market through the monetary expansion which reduces the exchange rate until its initial level, which increases the GDP, as you can see in the image. With a floating exchange rate, as in the previous studied case, this policy produces a reduction in imports, so net exports will be positive, which increases the exchange rate. A trade restriction does not affect income, consumption, investment or government purchases. It does not affect the trade balance, although the shift in the net exports schedule tends to rise the net exports. The increase in the exchange rate reduces net exports by the same amount. The overall effect is simply less trade. The domestic economy imports less than it did before the trade restriction, but it exports less as well. Having analyzed how an economy works under floating of its exchange rate, let's consider which exchange rate regime is better. Exchange rate is only one of macroeconomic variables that monetary policy can influence. A system of floating exchange rate leaves monetary policymakers free to pursue other goals, such as stabilizing employment or prices, while under fixed exchange rate, monetary policy is committed to the single goal of maintaining the exchange rate at its announced level. Under system of fixed exchange rate, countries can change the value of their currency. Advocates of fixed exchange rate argue that exchange rate uncertainty makes international trade more difficult. Finally, it's important to know that the amount of world trade has continued to rise under floating exchange rates, but we rarely observe exchange rates that are completely fixed or completely floating. Instead, under both systems, stability of the exchange rate is usually one of the most important objectives of the central bank.